All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Jackson NFL, where I post daily NFL content. If that's something you enjoy, and you enjoy this video, hit that like button, hit that sub button. So today we're actually going to be talking about my favorite team in the league, the Green Bay Packers, uh, because I was reading an article talking about a, a one move each team in the NFL could make uh, in free agency, or I guess in the offseason, I should say. This isn't basketball. The Green Bay Packers was signed T.Y. Hilton, and here was the reasoning on PFF. The Packers, along with the Colts and Patriots, were another team identified by a source as an attractive landing spot for veteran wide receivers. Quarterback Aaron Rodgers is currently set to throw to Watkins, Alan Lazard, rookie Christian Watson, and Randall Cobb. Hilton could add another field-stretching element to the Green Bay Packers. So... This is something I have talked about on this channel actually before. I personally love the idea. Um, I still think the Packers should go after Julio Jones over T.Y. Hilton. Um, both of them have injury concerns at this point in their career. I would love for the Packers to go out and get e Emmanuel Sanders as well. I think he is, although he's older, the oldest out of that group, 35 years old. Um, still caught like 40 catches last season for over 600 yards. I mean, Emmanuel Sanders hasn't missed more than like five games probably, I mean, maybe once in his entire NFL career. He got drafted in 2010. So Emmanuel Sanders, not only is he like still playing, and so he's got very longevity. The longevity is there. But he also doesn't really get injured. You can rely on him. And I think that's something that Green Bay needs is reliable, consistent wide receivers. And so, yeah, I like T.Y. When T.Y. is healthy, he's good. Same thing applies to Julio. Um, if T.Y. or Julio the, that the Packers signed stayed healthy, they would be looking pretty good. You'd be looking super solid, in my opinion. But I think Emmanuel Sanders is probably the, the more safer play. And then on the other end, if the Packers didn't make any moves, I don't think it would be the end of the world. I fully trust Alan Lazard to step up and turn into a star wide receiver this next season. I fully anticipate it. He's got the confidence. He's got the work ethic. He's got the trust and the connection with Aaron Rodgers. I think Alan Lazard is looking poised for a breakout season. Christian Watson, I'm very excited to see how he can play. Uh, Randall Cobb, I think, is a nice little complimentary piece. I'm very excited to, about Sammy Watkins. I was reading an article on The Athletic. Uh, he's 29 years old, and you know, last season, um, 13 games for the Ravens, just a bunch of hammy injuries, a bunch of knee injuries last year. Only caught 27 passes for about 400 yards and a touchdown. Those were by far Sammy Watkins' lowest number in his entire NFL career. Entire NFL career since he got drafted in the same class that Devontae Adams did. Those were the worst numbers in his career. But at the same time, if he can stay healthy, Aaron Rodgers is going to give him plenty of looks. And I have a quote here, actually. This is what um, was in the, the article about Sammy Watkins on The Athletic. Here's the quote from Aaron Rodgers. I knew he was somebody we had targeted and we were interested in, and I was 100% on board with that. I think it's important you get the guys who have a lot to play for, and I think Sammy has the opportunity to continue and travel down a new path in his career that we can help him get here as he continues to improve and gets the opportunities. The most important thing for receivers and pass catchers and ball carriers is opportunities, and there's definitely going to be opportunities for him to make plays for us in this offense. So. If you go back and you look at Sammy Watkins' career, he has missed 30 regular season games the last seven years, averages on his season 43.5 catches for 632 yards and 4.3 touchdowns since he was drafted eight years ago. So those are fine. I mean, those are, those are fine stats. Sammy Watkins' best careers, moments of his career, were in his first two years. If you can just get Sammy Watkins healthy, this man will have a breakout season. I 100% guarantee, and it's just like what Aaron Rodgers was talking about, you're going to get the opportunities, you're going to get plenty of the opportunities. So if he can stay healthy, and I know that's redundant, I know all the receivers got to stay healthy, you know, same with T.Y., same with Julio, like, oh, if they're healthy, but with Sammy Watkins, I am so, I, I really like what Aaron Rodgers said, where these are guys who have something to play for. These aren't guys who have had successful NFL careers and, you know, they're just hanging on to whatever they can hang on at this point. Like, 
maybe an older T.Y. or an or older Julio Jones. Like, obviously, they love football and they're still good at football. But a couple years younger, at just 29 years old, you're in your prime. That's what Sammy Watkins is. And he has had, after getting taken fourth in the draft 10 years ago, or sorry, eight years ago, the expectations to himself, he has not exceeded them. He's not lived up to his own expectations. And that's what he kind of taught. I don't have the quotes here, but that's kind of what Sammy Watkins was talking about when I was reading this article was that my career is not gone how I envisioned it. And I think Green Bay is going to give me the perfect opportunity to not only like show everybody wrong, but to also just build something and gain some positive momentum. I think in general, in life, positive momentum is one of the most important things that you can look after. So last season, 27 catches for 394 yards and a touchdown, all career lows. There's a chip on Sammy's shoulder right now. There's a chip on his shoulder 100% because he wants to prove every person, including himself, well, I guess in, him, in, in his case, he wants to prove himself right, but he wants to prove everybody, everybody in the league, everybody that's doubted him, everyone that's hated on him, he wants to prove them wrong and show that he can be what he envisioned himself being. So that's why I liked Rodgers saying, like, I'm on board because he's got a lot to play for and he can, like, it's not like Sammy Watkins has had a bad NFL career because he's been in the league for eight seasons, it's very successful, but it just, once again, it hasn't gone he hasn't lived up to his own expectations of what was going to occur. So going down this new path, new new change of scenery, I think it's going to be money for Sammy, and I think it's ultimately going to be both best for both of them, the Green Bay Packers and Sammy Watkins. So I'm not too worried, but if they want to go outside of veteran wide receiver, I would not complain. Let me know what you guys think, especially if you're a Packers fan. Go ahead, drop a comment down below. As always, hit the like button, hit that sub button. I'll catch you guys later.